We're here today in Job 15 and 16. As Job's friends continue to accuse Job of, well, being a big time sinner. In fact, listen to what one of them says. It's Eliphaz. He, he says this to Job. Should a wise man answer with empty knowledge and fill himself with the east wind? In other words, Job, you're supposed to be wise. You're supposed to be smart, but you're full of hot air. That's basically what he's saying. And they are convinced that because of what Job is suffering and what he's going through, well, he's not wise and he's finally getting some kind of retribution for all his sinful actions. And in chapter 16, Job responds by letting them know, well, what's really going on in his life. Then Job answered, chapter 16, verse one and two. I have heard many such things from miserable comforters like you. He calls them miserable counselors. Basically, they're just going after him and pointing out all the things that are happening to him and blaming him for them. But, but he responds again and again. He says, O earth, do not cover my blood. Let my cry have no resting place. Surely even now my witness, well, it's in heaven and my evidence is on high. My friends scorn me, but God is my witness. He, he points out to them and, and to all of us who would read this that, hey, I'm innocent. Even though they think I'm guilty, God is my witness. He knows my life. He's seen how I've reacted to things and he knows what I've really done. He says, my friends, verse 20, they scorn me. My eyes pour out tears to God. He's basically saying, none of my friends believe me and my witness is in heaven and I pour out my tears to God. God was his only witness. God was all he had left. It's like what Corey Tin Boom said one time, the Holocaust survivor, the writer, and also the movie, The Hiding Place. She said, you'll never know the Lord is all you need until the Lord is all you have. And this is the place where, well, where Job is now. All his friends have kind of accused him. That seems the world is against him. And he realizes that all he has is the Lord. So he pours out his tears to the Lord and says, he's my true witness. And I think sometimes God brings us to a place where we realize he's all we have and we have to depend on him. Job's in that situation. And maybe many times, or even today, you're in that situation. You think, Lord, you're my only answer. You're my greatest need, my greatest friend. You're all I really have in this life to point me in the direction, to bring me to the place that you know I need to be. That's, that's kind of the story of Job 15 and 16 as Job is responding to his friends.